Uh, my name is Dylan Brayshaw, I'm a surf photographer on the Gold Coast and today I'm going to be reviewing this, a 70 to 200mm f4 Canon lens. So you're probably thinking about buying this lens, it's a 70 to 200mm f4 Canon lens. It's actually quite the workhorse, I love this lens, I use it a lot. There's probably about four main reasons why you might buy this lens. Okay, one, obviously, the quality of the lens is really good. Two is the weight of the lens. So the other lens you can go for is the 2.8, but this lens is half the weight. So if you're going to be holding it all day, um, this lens is a lot lighter. It's half the weight. Um, the third thing is the build quality. This, I, this is weather sealed, which means it can get rained on and it will be fine. So you can take it, you know, sitting on the side of a sports line, taking um, taking shots while it's raining you can be sitting on the beach taking shots of surfing um, and if it rains it doesn't matter the other thing is the cost the cost of this is a lot cheaper than the 2.8 so you still get your image quality um, and you don't have to pay the hefty price of the 2.8 i'm here on the headland at burley um, i'll do a, some videoing with it i'm going to try to shoot some whales and video some whales for you guys now it's not the best day, it's pretty windy, but we'll try anyway. The other thing about this lens is this is the IS version, so it's got image stabilization. So it helps for a lot of handheld shots. Um, I'm in the water a lot, so I've got it in the housing, I'm bobbing around, and this just stabilizes it, the IS, so I always have that on. Yeah, anyway, let's get it. Let's get, get some uh, shots of these whales. Is what I Okay, you'll be able to see these guys. The whales are jumping. Let's get the shell, put this down here. I gotta get this. So I'll get, I'll switch over to the video now. So it also comes with the lens hood. So I'm not in the sun, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Okay, the whales are right in the center. You can see the puffs. This is really hard. There's a couple puffs, the whales blow holes. There they are there, you can see them. There, they're there. Let's hopefully we get one that jumps. Oh, oh I missed it. Oh. So yeah, the focus ring, the zoom rings there, and the focus rings there are amazing. Um, they really feel really good, really smooth, really smooth. That 70 mils, and that is 200. So yeah, the only other thing that I've found with this uh, 70 to 200 mm lens, um, the only problem that I've found is that the f4 does limit you with the amount of light. So the 2.8 lets in double the amount of light as the f4. So that's a real problem. Um, overcast days have been tough to shoot. Uh, I just had to bump up the ISO. Um, and obviously at night, at night it would be hard to shoot with uh, the F4. So that's the only advantage of having the 2.8 that I can find. Okay, there's no bloody whales out there. Let's take a photo of this bloody turkey. So I'm at F4. Jump on F4. Seventy is quite far back. And you zoom in, I'll get a close-up of these pandanus. Boom. Right at 200. Yeah. Shoots really quick, focuses really quick. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty good lens. I use it a lot. Um, I'm going to take it out tomorrow morning and for an early morning session in the water so you can see what the water shots are like. So yeah, until then, see you guys then. Okay, so this morning I'm at the beach and I'm going to be doing an in-the-water test with the 70 to 200 mm f4 lens. Um, it's overcast and it's about 10 minutes past sunrise. So this will give you a good idea on the low light capabilities of the f4. Um, I'm going to just go have, go, have, go have a swim around, take some photos and you'll see the results. Someday. Breath. 
That was fun. It's always fun shooting in the water. Um, as you can see from those photos, this lens can do can zoom in really close, and you can also pull back quite a fair way at 70 mils. It's a lens that I use a lot um, when I have to get a lot of action shots in the water. I use this lens. I like it because it's lightweight. Um, the 2.8 is really heavy, so this one is half the weight, um, and it does the job. You know, it's really fast and really light. So yeah, that's why I love this lens. How do you do what you do?